Arsenal fan TV tie. He's gone. Yeah, unfortunately. But he's gone, man. Yeah, he's gone. But the thing is, what's sad is what's happened to Ferguson, isn't it? So, boy. That is sad. That is sad. sad. So, I, I, my it was fault. The class of Wenger as well. Absolutely. My fault, our that. thoughts go out to his family and him, and hopefully he makes a speedy recovery. Yeah, he's gone, and boy, it's going to be hard that to follow. I saw, um, I spoke to um, Ivan, Ivan Gazidis, and he said, boy, I said, who are you going to get to replace him? And he said, he's going to be hard to replace. He said, he's impossible to replace. He said, we're going to have to go another way. But, you know, I just got to big him up for everything he's done for the club. Very friendly, very cheerful, very friendly, very humble, very polite. We'll stop 99% of the time. Hope I can catch him tonight. It's going to be a late one. Even two o'clock in the morning, I still chat to you and laugh and talk about anything. So, you know, a great manager. What sort of things has he spoken to you Boy. about over the years when he's pulled over and had a I chat with you and that. your mates? Boy, um, there was one time we said, do you know about cricket? And he said, Boy. I read about it. There's nothing that you can't chat to him about. He's chatted to us about stupid... I, won't, I, I don't even mention any other manager's name. He's a disgrace, so it shouldn't be hard to work how it is. But, you know, he's saying how they used to try and wind him up on the touchline, telling us about how when they... Um, we were say, they were saying that we were spending money, how we agreed a, a fee with Phil Jones. I said, I never heard that. He used to tell us so much stuff that, you know, you know they used to say a lot of rubbish. He used to, he, he used to chat to us on level. You know, yeah. things like that. He, telling he, us was he shedding happening. a tear when, <laughs> when he came on and, and, and done his speech? No, I wasn't shedding. I wasn't shedding a tear because, like I said, it was emotional. Though, it wasn't was it? emotional. Why? Right? It was serious. I, 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 I won't. I won't. I won't shedding tear because it's football. And like I said, what's happened with Ferguson? There's a lot more important things. That man was saying that he got slated for um, one of the manager. I got slated for one of the manager in. You know. So no, 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 no. Because it's football, isn't it? And like I said before, I'm saying again, if it's in the best interest of the club who am i or who are we to say that it's the wrong mm. the wrong the wrong option i think he deserved to stay another season for what he's done but if the club believe and they've come to an agreement that it's in the best interest of the club who am i to say who are we to say anything do you I've think he was pushed or do you think he walked yeah i think I, I i think he was pushed i do think he was pushed and it's a shame really because he's dedicated his life he has been well paid fair enough you know but you know i mean he's saying about um 1998, my greatest moments was the Invisible team because, you know, it's mm. so funny. Yeah, I always have I always have arguments and I'll go into it if I'm allowed to. I always have arguments with Chelsea fans, Liverpool fans, Manchester United fans, Tottenham fans. The Invincibles are the greatest of all time. It's just like Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Jesse Owens, Usain Bolt, the greatest. And for him to create that when Alex Ferguson and how can I describe Roy, Roy Keane? Mean is putting, it poli is putting it politely. When they were messing about I'll get Lee Ferguson out of it because, like I said, he's got to get better. When Keane was trying to throw his weight around, he came and brought an invincible team that outperformed them. Okay. So, you know, it's just incredible. What's, it's just what, incredible. what's your favourite moment, Arsene Wenger? Invincibles as well, all day long. Arsene Wenger is a legend of this football club. Yeah. He's had a lot of stick over years. This stadium here should be called the Arsene Wenger Stadium. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart because he, he, he has transformed. We were always a big club, don't get me wrong. When he came, in 96, 97, when he came, where were we? Mid-table team. I know we were winning before that, but we were, we were mid-table. He came, we finished third. Next season, double. I was six years old, toilet and pub, watching Arsenal win a double. And it was Arsene Wenger that made that all possible. And everyone says, you know what? He had this defence, this English defence. He, he walked in with it, and when he can't pick a defender, what about the Invincibles? All right, we got Campbell in a free, but he done that. Players wanted to come. Another thing, that, thing now what I think about, a Bangyuang. Uh, Mkhitaryan, did they know this about Wenger? Did Ozil know when he signed that contract? I don't know, but people come to Arsenal Football Club because of Wenger. We're known worldwide. Loads of teams win leagues or have their little periods. They're not known. We're known worldwide because of the way we play football and it's all down to Wenger. Today, even though we had a good result, forget all that. Today is about Wenger, about what he's done for this club. Troops, I was sitting there next to him. We were both in a, in a I was lucky enough to be in a box today and it just showed me what an amazing place this Emirates is. And it's all down to Wenger. And I even I said to troops, you know what? S sing one Arsene Wenger. He said, I can't do it, I'll be a hypocrite. I said, no, 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 fuck all that. Fuck all that, you can, you can sing it. Because in 2004, 2005, 2006, even seven, eight and nine, when we didn't win nothing, you weren't screaming them out. Today is about getting behind Wenger. And you know what, I did shed a tear today. And I didn't think I would, but I did. He's all unknown, he's been like a second dad. And today is all about Wenger. I forget who's coming in next. Forget about all the last five, six, seven years or whatever. Even though we've won things. I went to my first FA Cup final last year. 
and it and it was so good seeing Wenger lift up that trophy. Today is about Arsene Wenger. He's a legend of this club. He made this happen. And in 50 years' time, when you look back and we're all sitting here and we're still doing Arsenal fan TV, and Rob, yeah, hopefully, and we're hopefully. sitting here. Right, I would say great. My son, hair, might, be, yeah, my son might be doing it. His son might be doing it, and we're doing it. We're going to look back and say, wow, what, look what we've got. I walk yeah. past this every day. I used to walk past it going to school, and it was a rubbish dump. Yeah? I, I used to, I hate this. And now I come past and I look at this, and I get a warm feeling in my heart. And it's all because of Wenger. And I'm glad that it was 5 0, and we scored some Wenger goals today. Like they were saying earlier, the Wilshire goal, the Burkamp goal. The Henri go against United. All these great times, the memories we'll never forget. Kelechi said it, we'll still sing these songs. All these songs we sing about, all come about because of Arsene Wenger. So my final say is just Arsene Wenger's a legend. We look and look at the look at the man, it just showed him. First thing, it's all about him. Mourinho, he'd have lapped that up. What did Wenger say? Get well to Ferguson straight away. And you know what? I nearly had a tear in my eye watching that United game when Ferguson brought him out and even Mourinho was trying to get like a, a hand round him and all that. And I, I've got to give credit to Mourinho. People are saying it's fake. I don't think it was. I think it was genuine. And uh, my final say on this is just Arsene Wenger is a legend. Forget who comes in next. Good luck to him. I'll get behind whoever it is. I'm Arsenal through and through. Today's about Wenger. Arsene Wenger, I'll love you forever. Fantastic. And that's it. It's Robbie here. I'm on the set of the Real Football Fan Show. We're about to get things cracking. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. The Real Football Fan Show every Thursday just after midnight on Channel 4. Make sure you check it out.